big news for Sony camera users out there. Sony just released a webcam utility for Windows 10 for 35 different models of their cameras, allowing you to use your camera through USB as a webcam on your PC. So all you need to do to enable this utility is download this in the card or in the description below. Works only for Windows 10 and also doesn't support all the models. So from the big cameras, it does support all the alpha cameras or most of them, except the A6000 and uh, maybe some of the 7s. Supports the ZV-1 as well, which is their uh, brand new camera. After you downloaded the software, a few more things you got to do. First, you have to set your camera to PC remote under the USB settings. Uh, typically, it's auto or mass storage. You have to set it to PC remote. After that, connect your camera to the PC with the provided USB cable. Typically, that's the micro USB cable that you have. So that's it. All you have to do now is just to use it as a normal webcam. But we have to check out the quality. We need to talk about this. So I'm going to show you how it looks on my PC when I connect it. And this is the quality that you get from it. If we take a deeper look in OBS uh, at the specs of this webcam, we can see that the resolution is 1024 by 576, which is relatively low, but that's okay. We can live with that because the image is really good. It's coming out of an expensive camera and it looks pretty good to me. Like I would use it on stream easily, but the FPS is a big problem. It's only about 14. I've looked at it frame by frame in Resolve and it's between 13 and 15. It's not even consistent. So it's not really for streaming or recording for YouTube, but for conference calls or Zoom, it's going to work just fine. So the A6000 is not on the list, but we should still try it out. Maybe it works. Maybe they forgot it. I don't know. Plugging in. And it just says connecting. That's it. I don't know what the problem is. It works with the 5100. That's weird. 5100 is actually newer than this A6000. So maybe uh, that's the border, some kind of technology that they've put in uh, 5100 and onwards. Now you might be wondering, having shot this video, if I have an A6000. Well, I do happen to have an A6400 as well, which is supported by the new software. But of course, you're not going to use an A6400 with this software. And you're not going to use an A7 III or an A7S III with the new software because it well, it just ruins the quality. You're going to use a capture card, so get yourself a nice capture card. This software is only the last resort, nothing else. If you want to check out more details on this camera, there's a link right here or in the description below. Of course, the big advantage of this is that you do not need any capture cards, but We've seen lately that you do not need an expensive capture card at all. You can get pretty decent quality with like $20 to $30 capture cards. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are you going to use this? Do you find this useful for any kind of use case? Especially if you don't have access to a capture card. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to like these two as well. Come catch us live on Twitch. Links in the description below, as well as the hectic schedule. I'll see you in the next one.